Greetings and salutations to you people of the interwebs and welcome to another kind of review talk about the latest issue of the new ongoing IDW series Transformers this is issue six this issue is entitled let's find it here Orion Pax Freefall you know what this is actually a breath of fresh air with the other um, comic books in this series uh, it's we've kind of moved out of the um, the world in your eyes um, five part I don't know if there's another if it goes on to part six in issue seven or not but um, yeah it seems that like that first arc is done we don't know what's happened to rubble all this type of stuff you know it, it, it's going on there was a point there was an inciting incident in the last one and now we're just going to go and do something completely different for a while it's more world building as you could say which you know some of us might think we've had enough of that already but we've not we really haven't this is a breath of fresh air as i said this is the first issue so far that has not three, not four, not even two, but one artist on this book, and one artist alone doing the doing the um, the pencils and the colours. Beth Maguire Smith. Um, so yeah, written as usual by Brian Rookley. Letters by Thomas B. Long. He always belongs in our comic books and this is basically chronicles interactions between orion pax i still have issues that he looks like optimus prime at this point so when he becomes optimus prime there's not going to be like oh wow he's optimus prime now it's like yeah you look the same dude i'd like a bit of a transition um he'd be chronic it chronicles orion pax and megatron's kind of interactions up until this point and how they were friends of a sort at times friends of different class um orion pax is an archivist and megatron has been a um minor who occasionally does a bit of pit fighting for fun um, so it doesn't look like it's like bloody gladiatorial battles. It looks like it's more of an actual sport here, even though we don't see any of it. But you see, it's mentioned, and so they meet up. And there's been a war. The war is finished, and they're basically trying to rebuild things. Uh, uh, Ryan Pax was wondering how he was hoping to see the Constructicons work their magic, but no, they're just in kind of at street level. Megatron's pulling on a chain, and then. Ryan Pax is like, hey, what's going on, Max? Why are you pulling on that chain? He's like, wait, wait and see. You know, this is a could be more than a one-person job. So they pull on the chain for a bit, and um, eventually, you know, it looks like they could be having an accident, but they persevere through. And what he's pulling up is a statue of Primus. So um, it's kind of hope. He's, he's trying to bring out a, a statue of hope after the, um, the um, destructive war that's happened that we don't really get any kind of details about. All we know is that um, the war's happened and it's over. And obviously, Orion and Megatron were on the same side on this one. Um, whoever they were fighting against, it was not the Ultimate Classic Ultimate Decepticon battles, but a, ba a pre battle before that. And then it's basically about them going when the uh, the moon, this moon bridge, moon bridge, mm, this tube to the moon, elevator to the moon first opens and um, they decide to go on a trip together up there and Megatron kind of stops the lift midway through and they get out and they're at this, they're at this this point, this gravitational point where the, 
they're kind of floating they could go up or down um megatron has is saying that he's joined the ascensicons at this, at this stage and yeah there's a, it, it's this point in their lives where things could go either way ryan pax is, is kind of tired of being a archivist the the, the previous archivist it looks like they're about to retire and Orion Pax doesn't want to be stuck with that job. So he's going, wandering the colonies. He's going there and taking in life. Whereas Megatron is more like, well, I, I can't afford to be doing that kind of frivolous stuff. I've got to be here um, just trying to make where we are a better place rather than trying to look out for other places that are good. So, you know, it's kind of Megatron is more of a an agent of change rather than an agent of kind of... of, of Ryan Pack seems to be on a, a voyage of self-change, of self-discovery, whereas Megatron wants to be more of an agent of change overall. And it, so it's good. It, this is an actual issue that is as good. Megatron, Orion Pax, starting as friends, having differences of opinions for eventual conflict. This is, this is what, when you talk about doing a prequel series of saying how the, the war was started and all that type of stuff this is kind of what we wanted this is this is what we wanted if this was issue one and i've had no doubts from what we've got up running up to this the art like i say this um beth mcguire smith mcguire smith i enjoy it I like it when someone does solo art duties. It is very reminiscent of some of Sarah Stone's early work on the, the first Windblade series. Um, it's, it's still using these very toy-centric designs, but it was someone who's got an eye to actually, rather than having them straight on, actually being able to have some perspective and dynamic energy on with them as well so you can still see the odd bit where they've got you know the portholes and stuff like that on them but it's nowhere near as obvious as the other stuff and there's lots of use of you know heavy shade and um breaking out from the panels and all this type of stuff so yeah this Made just a, just a random little, 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 little fairy there for no reason. I like it. It's very kind of just what weird stuff going on. So yeah, it's um, yeah. All I'm saying is, this was the first issue of the new IDW ongoing series. I would have had no issue if this was the first issue. I'd have no issue. I've had no problemos recommending this to everyone. But it's issue six. It's kind of, this is a good jumping on point, I think. Unless, you know, that first five issues could have been one or two issues. You know, they could have really condensed that. And this could have been, the, or this could have been the first issue. And then we could have moved out into seeing what the world was like at large, I think. And seeing some of these things. This is, hmm, that. It almost feels like they've put it the wrong way. And having someone, a solo person on art duties, also really kind of cements the feel of that work because it, it doesn't make it as disjointed as the, the first arc appears to be because of, of, of just all the like, oh, somebody's going to draw a couple of pages, somebody, and then we'll get someone else to go, go do a couple of other pages. And it all just gets a bit, uh, it, as a reader, it, it, it's disconcerting, it, it's confusing, it, it's kind of, it, it, it just, it doesn't, tonally, it just doesn't gel well, and it kind of, it's, it's off, slightly offsetting. For, whereas this classic Optimus Prime and Megatron dialogue, even though he's around Pax, um, classic build-up of, of, of the beliefs starting to clash and so this is this is what we this is what we wanted or well, this is 
it isn't what we wanted. But when we were told the premise of what the new continuity is, this is what we wanted out of that premise, if you get my drift. So yeah, I hope it carries on delivering more stuff like this, rather than the stuff that we've just previously read through. And that's my review. Go pick it up. I would recommend this one. It, it, it is actually, for any kind of continuity of Transformers, this is a good kind of early Megatron, early Optimus Prime conversation that that's, you could read as a one-shot. Uh, yeah, this could be a one-shot. So yeah, that's the end of this video of sorts. Just thought I'd just shout out Luke and Steve's yet again. He's come out of a blinder. It's a Ravage one. It's come out nice and well. Put it in a nice uh, regal blue. Uh, check him out on Facebook and all that type of stuff where you can find such things. Lucan's Tees. I am a tease. Join me next time where we'll be looking at comic books. We might be a Transformer of the Week coming up. Um, we might have some wicked cool toys almost on the way. Until then, be excellent to each other. Party on, dudes. And because you deserve it, let's bump the fist, shall we? Bisto! Bisto!